Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Think about the last time you used your phone. Was it to call someone, send a quick text, scroll through social media, or maybe check your email? Nowadays, our phones are practically extensions of our hands, packed with capabilities we couldn't have dreamed of 30 years ago. But how did we get here? It's easy to take this technology for granted, but it wasn't that long ago that cell phones were clunky, expensive devices reserved for the few. The story of the cell phone, from its humble beginnings with Motorola to the tech juggernaut Apple, is one of innovation, competition, and a whole lot of vision. In this video, we're going to walk through the incredible journey that took us from the first cell phones to the modern smartphones we can't live without. The story of the cell phone begins in the early 1970s with a company that was a household name back then, Motorola. At that time, Motorola was primarily known for making radios and other communication equipment, but a handful of engineers at the company were quietly working on something groundbreaking. Enter Martin Cooper, a Motorola engineer who is often credited with inventing the first cell phone. On April 3, 1973, Cooper made the world's first handheld mobile phone call. Imagine that moment for a second standing in the middle of New York City, holding a bulky, brick-like device that weighed almost 2.5 pounds and cost a fortune to develop. Cooper didn't call a friend or a colleague to show off his accomplishment. He called his rival, Joel Engel, head of research at Bell Labs, to brag that Motorola had beaten them to it. That moment marked the beginning of the mobile revolution. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. While the idea of mobile communication was now proven, the reality was that cell phones were far from practical in the early days. The Motorola Dynatac, the model Cooper used to make that first call, didn't actually become available to consumers until 1983, a full decade later. And when it did hit the market, it came with a staggering price tag of nearly $4,000. Can you imagine? And it wasn't just the cost. The Dynatac was huge by today's standards, had limited battery life, and wasn't exactly portable in the way we think of mobile devices now. But despite its limitations, it was a revolutionary piece of technology because it was the first time people could talk to each other wirelessly without being tied down by cables or landlines. Fast forward to the 1990s, and the landscape began to shift. As technology advanced, phones became more compact, battery life improved, and the idea of mobile communication started to gain serious traction. Companies like Nokia and Ericsson jumped into the game, but Motorola was still a big player. In 1996, Motorola released the StarTac, the first flip phone. If you were around during this time, you probably remember just how cool it was to flip that phone open like you were in a futuristic spy movie. The StarTac was smaller, lighter, and much more portable than anything that came before it. It was a glimpse of what was to come, a future where phones could easily fit in your pocket and didn't weigh you down. By the late 90s and early 2000s, Cell phones weren't just about making calls anymore. Text messaging started to gain popularity, especially in Europe and Asia, and soon enough, mobile phones were becoming essential tools for communication. Nokia became a household name with its indestructible 3310 model, and BlackBerry revolutionized mobile email with its QWERTY keyboards. Suddenly, phones were not just for talking, they were becoming portable communication devices that let you stay connected in ways we'd never thought possible. However, the real game changer came in 2007, when a company known primarily for its computers and MP3 players decided to enter the mobile phone market. You guessed it, Apple. When Steve Jobs introduced the iPhone on January 9, 2007, he wasn't just launching another cell phone. 
he was introducing a new category of device that would forever change how we interact with the world around us. Up until this point, most phones were focused on communication, calling, texting, and emailing. The iPhone, however, was a pocket-sized computer, entertainment center, and communication device all rolled into one. It was sleek, touchscreen-based, and had internet capabilities. It had an app store, which allowed users to customize their phones in ways no one had seen before. In one product launch, Apple redefined what a phone could be. The iPhone was revolutionary for several reasons, but its biggest impact was in how it set the stage for the modern smartphone era. Suddenly, every phone manufacturer had to step up their game. Companies like Samsung, HTC, and even Google, with its Android operating system, began to create devices that could compete with Apple. While Apple may have started the smartphone trend, it didn't take long for the competition to catch up. Samsung, for instance, quickly became one of Apple's fiercest competitors with its Galaxy line of phones, offering Android-powered alternatives to the iPhone that often came with larger screens and more customizable features. It's fascinating to think that in just a few short decades, we've gone from the bulky Motorola DynaTAC to the sleek and powerful devices we carry in our pockets today. And it wasn't just about the phones themselves, it was about the ecosystems they created. The introduction of apps, mobile internet, and social media platforms transformed phones into multifunctional devices that are integral to our daily lives. We use them for everything, watching videos, checking the weather, navigating the streets, ordering food, taking photos, and even monitoring our health. The phone has evolved from a luxury gadget to a necessity, and the way we communicate, work, and live has been forever changed by it. So what does the future hold? Looking back, it's clear that innovation in the mobile phone industry has been driven by fierce competition, constant technological advancements, and a desire to make life easier and more connected. Companies are now exploring foldable phones, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence integration. Who knows? Maybe in another decade, we'll be talking about phones that are entirely different from what we have now. One thing's for sure, the journey from Motorola to Apple is just the beginning of a much larger story. As we move forward, we'll continue to see new developments that push the boundaries of what we thought was possible. So the next time you pull out your phone, take a second to appreciate just how far we've come. From that first call on a brick-sized phone to the sleek, powerful devices in our pockets today, the cell phone has transformed our world in ways we're still discovering. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.